Hello! Here is another great e-learning tutorial from dacanane.com. Last time I showed you how to insert content into an EduCreation slideshow. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record content, save it, manage saved shows and embed them. So let's begin. Recording is really easy. Just click on the record button and start talking. As I talk I can also draw on my slides to draw attention to the key aspects of the slide. Some functions like inserting typed text automatically pause the recordings as you can see here. The trick is to remember to press the record button again once I've completed the typing. Using EduCreations efficiently is a matter of developing a workflow with the tool. I think this tool is a superb one for students. It has a simple uncluttered interface and presents students limited choice options, forcing them to focus on the content rather than the surface features. I use this tool for formative assessment purposes, for students to create content that others can use to scaffold their own learning. The possibilities are almost endless. It's brilliant. You can see here that I've created a new slide and I want to insert another image. EduCreations pauses the recording, then when I click on the web option, EduCreations has remembered my last search term and finding a new picture is quick and easy and I can resume my recording. I can continue recording and annotating as many slides as I want. But now I want to save my slideshow. To start the save process, I click on the done button. As you can see, the drop down box presents me with two options, save lesson or start over. Saving my work is the standard title and description process. But when I click on next, I am then presented with more options. I always get my students to make their slideshows private. By doing this, I remain as the final arbiter of what becomes public. It also allows my students to work independently of me. After this, EduCreations likes you to classify what subject area your slideshow, or lesson as they call them, belongs in. This makes for easy searching later on. At the final screen we finally see the save button and EduCreations saves my slideshow to the iPad and because I'm also logged into my EduCreations account, uploads it to the internet, which is why I like the students to make their work private. A note of caution here on deleting content. As you can see, I have lots of lessons saved in EduCreations. If I click on the trash can in the top right, the following warning comes up, and this is a new feature in the updated EduCreations. What you delete on your iPad will be deleted on the EduCreations site too. There are no backups, no copies. The work has gone forever, so be sure. And remember, if you embed work on your other sites, that link will die too. I now want to show you how to manage lessons from the EduCreations website. I have logged in and as you can see the presentation I have just saved has already uploaded to the internet. You will also remember that I made it private. Assuming that I am happy as a teacher with a student's lesson, I now want to make it public. To do this, I have to click on the lesson to open it. To the right of the screen the privacy settings can be seen. To change these, I now need to edit my lesson by clicking on the edit button. In the privacy drop down I can select from the choices. For embedding purposes I need to select visible to all and then save my lesson. Now on the right of the lesson the new sharing options can be seen. I can now click on the embed option and with the embed code I can insert the lesson into my chosen blog, wiki, LMS etc. If you're unsure how to do this click on the link on the screen above to go to my embedding tutorial. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more e-learning tutorials. In the meantime, keep practicing!